Call the October 6th meeting of the Commissioner's Task Force uh, to order. The meeting is being live streamed and on YouTube, and we want to uh, uh, re want to uh, welcome those uh, who are following remotely. Today's agenda has been provided. Are there any changes? If not, is there a motion to approve the agenda? Please, uh, please identify who makes the motion. Adam Thomas, so moved. Thank you, Adam. Second by? Nick Coppernones. Nick, thank you. All in favor, please raise your hand. All opposed? Motion carries. Thank you very much. The minutes of the September 8th meeting uh, have been provided to you. Uh, are there any corrections or additions to the minutes? If not, a motion would be in order to approve the minutes of the September the 8th meeting. Tina Ray Scott, so moved. Tina, thank you. Is there a second? Adam Thomas, second. Okay, uh, well, I got two at the same time, so that'd be Jamie. Uh, got that one, so <laughs> next time, Adam. Appreciate you jumping in there. Okay, all in favor, please raise your hand. All opposed? Motion carries. And as the highlight of our month, we always are, are excited for the opportunity to listen to Doug. <laughs> I'm sure you are. So thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, this month's meeting, we've got 15 districts that have submitted either changes or uh, new items to be considered by the task force. Uh, the total of those 15 plans would be $31.8 million. Uh, the changes or, and additions would represent $6.2 million. And so the ones that we have, we've got Remington uh, that's using up what little they had left for some salaries. Uh, Norton uses up the rest of theirs for an HVAC project. 270,000. Graham County uh, uses up the rest of their allocation for some PD. Fairfield reorganized some things and actually went uh, the other direction. So they freed up $6,000 and things weren't costing as much as they thought they were going to. Wellington has a big HVAC project and that will use up the rest of their allocation. Ellenwood, um, for curriculum and premium pay and they didn't have much that had been approved prior so this is a big chunk of theirs that's coming through now uh, blue valley uses the rest of theirs up for some software smoky valley uh, just moving some money around um, for retention pay then russell uh, does the same thing they reattributed some items reorganized and they came in less expensive so they freed up about $20,000. Uh, Marion uses the rest of their allocation up for salaries. Great Bend uses theirs up with a big um, facility improvement project. Uh, it's a pre-K renovation of a building, so a lot of work going into that for a pre-K program. Uh, Dodge City had a little bit of money left, and they're applying it towards uh, including more staff in some of that premium pay. Then Coffeeville uh, has a big HVAC project. I believe it's either three or four different buildings that they are improving air quality in. Fort Larned um, uses some money up for premium pay. They've still got about 200,000 left. And Baxter Springs uses up the rest of their allocation with a curriculum purchase. Then as we look at where we set cumulatively, we've got 6.2 million in additional items this month added to the 740 million that's already gone before the task force and the board. We'll leave us with 21 million um, out of the 768 million that hasn't been uh, earmarked for anything. And we are still setting, even with those big HVAC projects, we're setting at 79% uh, for the teaching and learning buckets. Okay, are there questions? Let me check the chat here. 
Okay. If there are no questions, a motion would be in order to approve these uh, uh, reallocations. Jamie, I, I assume that that hand wave was a motion. And Bert seconds the motion. Any further discussion? If not, all in favor, please raise your hand. Any opposition? Seeing none, the motion carries. Uh, any uh, Anything else, uh, Doug? I guess uh, maybe a decision on whether you want to meet next month. I, I'll defer to the team on, but I don't think we have many waiting right now. So um, it's kind of slow. Let's uh, tentatively schedule the next meeting for December. If something comes in that's time sensitive, you'll let me know and we can reconsider that at that time. But let's, uh, if, 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 if there's nothing pending right now, is that a correct statement? As, as far as I know, we don't have anything to review on Monday. So we're, we're pretty much caught up. Okay. Well then let's wait till December to do that. And I, I have a suggestion and maybe it didn't bother. Maybe it doesn't bother anybody else because most everybody is smarter than I am. But whenever I got the pre-read uh, and was going through, you know, the first page is, is the compilation. It shows you what the schools are and everything. But as I go through, I couldn't figure, I, unlike Dale Dennis, I do not have every uh, USD number memorized. Uh, and so as I was going through it, I had to keep going back and forth to see uh, you know, what the numbers were when I got halfway through. And so if we could on the first page of, uh, of each uh, explanation, if we could actually have the name of the school, uh, it really doesn't matter because, you know, wh whether or not, whatever the school it is, it doesn't matter as long as it's, it meets the standards. But I just kind of like to know uh, that may be selfish, uh, on my part, but uh, I'd kind of like to know that. And that was something that I had to keep going back and forth uh, because I couldn't remember the, the numbers long enough. And so Renee, just put, done. Put the, Renee just put in the chat, they'll take care of that. Very they, good. Thank you. I forgot Thank to you. add the names this time, but. Well, but, I didn't know whether it was forgotten or not, or I just, everybody else can figure it out and I couldn't, but you know, <laughs> that was, which, and I'm in that position a lot. So that's no big deal for me. Anything else? Commissioner, any words of wisdom? I hope everyone wins their football game tonight. There we go. <laughs> well, if you play each other, that's a possibility that somebody won't. But <laughs> I, I, I was talking to uh, one superintendent before we started, and they were complaining that their gate may be down because Kansas State's playing tonight, and all their fans were going to stay at home and watch the Kansas State game. So they have to talk to the, uh, to the NCAA about those Friday night games anymore. Well, and I apologize. The fact is, I see that it's 3.08, which means this meeting has lasted eight minutes. Uh, but that's not a record. We got through in five minutes last time. Uh, so I, I, well, now it's nine minutes. We've wasted four minutes of your time uh, by me bringing stuff up at the end. But that being the case, I hope everybody has a great weekend. We'll look forward to seeing you the next time we see you. And we are adjourned.